Hey Sunday people, how are you doing? Hope uh, this um, finds you all safe and well and happy. Uh, I'm recording on Sunday morning, sun's creeping out behind me. I uh, hope you've had a lovely day. Um, like I said, um, every Sunday I'm going to be uh, publishing a new quiz onto Facebook for all my Facebook friends and family. This is number two. Um, last week was the first one, obviously. Uh, shout out to Liz and Lee for getting in touch in the comments after the quiz. Uh, both did very well, but Lee, well done to you. 19 out of 20 last time, impressive. Uh, do get involved in uh, the comments after this one. Let me know how you got on. Um, tell me if I've got anything wrong. If you want to question anything, query anything, um, I'll pop in and out of the comments uh, throughout the rest of the evening, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> 30 questions today. 20 last week, 30 today. I don't know whether I'll do 30 next week or 20, I don't know, but um, there are 30 today. Score to beat in my household is 26 and a half. Uh, can't remember now where the half came from, but you'll, you'll, you'll just find out as we go along. But 26 and a half is the score to beat. Okay, uh, remember, use the pause function if I'm going too fast. Um, on we go, I'll stop rambling now. Good luck. So, question one. <clears throat> in the movie Frozen, which song does Elsa sing as she builds the castle? The movie Frozen, which song does Elsa sing as she builds the castle? Maybe ask the kids this one, I didn't have a clue. But apparently I've seen the film about five times. Um, <clears throat> may have stepped through it, who knows. Okay, question two. The 2010 film, The Social Network, was about the creation of which social media platform? The 2010 film, The Social Network, was about the creation of which social media platform? I should point out, I think the first 10 questions are film, second 10 are TV, and then the last 10 are a combination of the two. Okay, so question three then. Which three films make up what is known as the Three Flavours Cornetto Trilogy? Which three films make up what is known as the Three Flavours Cornetto Trilogy? I've stuck a clue into this. The initials SP and NF, two of the, the two main um, actors, including one of the writers, SP and NF. I don't know if that helps. Um, it's there anyway as a clue. Right, <clears throat> question four. Name the film. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So, what film does this famous line come from? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Question five. Who is the dad of Bridget Jones' baby? Now, I'm looking for the character name. You can decide if you get the actor whether you give yourself half a mark or not but I'm looking for the character name for the full for the full point who is the dad of Bridget Jones baby question six in Legally Blonde what is the name of Els Chihuahua I, I confess I've never seen this film in Legally Blonde what is the name of Els Chihuahua question seven which Ben and Matt co-wrote Goodwill Hunting which Ben and Matt co-wrote Goodwill Hunting. So I'm looking for two surnames, you know them well. Which Ben and Matt co-wrote Goodwill Hunting? Question eight, name this coming of age movie. So this is, I think they call it a dingbad, isn't it? Um, name this coming of age movie. So look at there, say what you see, a bit like catchphrase Roy Walker. Say what you see. Question nine, how about this film from 2005? This one's a bit satisfying when you get it. This film from 2005. And question 10. <laughs> Finally, what is this movie from 1996? I think this one's excellent. Very satisfying when you get this one. Um, people in this household didn't get this one and got quite angry um, when they, the, the name was revealed to them. But hey, can't blame me. Okay, there are your first set of 10 questions. Second set coming up on uh, TV. Nice easy one to start off with. What was the name of the tower block where Del Boy and Rodney Trotter lived in Only Fools and Horses? What was the name of the tower block where Del Boy and Rodney Trotter lived in Only Fools and Horses? And um, listen, in, listen out at the end, I'm making an announcement about another um, Only Fools and Horses quiz because it's quite popular. Uh, question 12, who played Mr. Bean? So name of the actor who played Mr. Bean. Question 13, Dawn French played the vicar of which parish? These are too easy, I think. Dawn French played the vicar of which parish? Question 14, oh, another easy one, hopefully. Uh, which series from the 2000s 
featured the characters Sheldon and Leonard. Which series from the 2000s featured the characters Sheldon and Leonard? Question 15. What is the name of the fictional town where Stranger Things is set? What is the name of the fictional town where Stranger Things is set? And question 16. Which long-running TV drama was set primarily in the 1960s, initially at the fictional Sterling Cooper Advertising Agency on Madison Avenue in New York? So which long-running TV drama was set primarily in the 60s, initially at the fictional Sterling Cooper Ad Agency on Madison Avenue in New York? Question 17. Yeah, one for the youngsters. Eagle Piggle and their parents. Macapaca and Upsy Daisy are from which kids' TV show? Upsy Humpty. Question 18. Name this kids' TV show. So again, say what you see. Ish. Name this kids' TV show. Name this sitcom. I like this one. Name this sitcom. Pause it for these. You need to maybe focus on these for a couple of minutes. Um, least of all, not least of all, just shut me up. Uh, question 20. And what's this TV show? <laughs> this one caused a degree of anger in the household as well. Very smug if you get this one. Think about it. Okay, there's your middle set of 10 questions. And um, on we go to the... Um, Final set of ten. Name all of the seven dwarves in Snow White. All of them for the mark. Question 22. What type of car is the time machine in the Back to the Future films? So what type of car is the time machine in the Back to the Future films? 23. Which movie star is killed off in the opening scene of Scream? So I want the actor's name. Which movie star is killed off in the opening scene of Scream? Question 24, finish the quote from Notting Hill. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy. Bomb it. Sorry, don't mean that, obviously. So finish the quote from Notting Hill. Question 25, in what 1976 thriller does Robert De Niro famously say, you talking to me? I think I did this in another quiz. In what 1976 thriller does Robert De Niro famously say, you talking to me? I'm sure he doesn't say it like that, but you know, 10 out of 10, maybe not 7 out of 10 for effort. Okay, and question 26 to 30. These are all film, an an film anagrams. What are they? So, Cub Flight, 1999, Sonic, 1999. Anyway, you've got the idea. Um, if there are two words in the, in the anagram on the screen, then there are two words in the title of the film. If there's one word on the screen, then doesn't necessarily mean that the same number of letters are in each of those words, however. Okay, so there's your 30 questions. So, pause, go back over them, uh, buy yourself a little bit of time, put the kettle on, whatever. Um, I'm going to plow on now to the answers, so, um, yeah, be warned. Right, question one then. In the movie Frozen, which song does Elsa sing as she builds the castle? Answer is, let it go. Apparently that was not, uh, quite easy. Uh, question two, the 2010 film, The Social Network, was, based about the, was about the creation of which social media platform? Facebook. Question three, which three films make up what is known as the Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy? And the clues SP and NF is Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, and the answers in, in order. Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fires, and The World's End. You don't need to get them in order, you just need to know the name of the three films. Um, and, a, and a different flavored Cornetto appears in each of the films. Um, it didn't start out with that intention, but it just kind of happened. Um, Edgar Wright co-wrote them with um, Simon Pegg. Anyway, you know, name the film. Frankly, my, de my dear, I don't give a damn. It is, of course, Gone with the Wind. Question five. Who is the dad of Bridget Jones' baby? The character's name is Mark Darcy, um, played by Colin Firth. If you want to give it a half a mark for Colin Firth, if you didn't get Mark Darcy, then do that. You're not getting one and a half marks maximum one mark here no cheating please um in legally blonde what is the name of Elle's chihuahua it is bruiser lived to be 18 apparently um question seven which ben and matt co-wrote good with hunting which starred robin williams love robin williams ben affleck and matt damon is the answer so you know them obviously from 
their acting careers, but maybe you didn't know that they wrote the screenplay for Goodwill Hunting. Well, they, they did. Question eight, name this coming of age movie. Hands up if you got it. Stand by me. See, stand by me. Okay, right. How about this film from 2005? Well, read it backwards. And it's kind of broken in the middle. There's mountain backwards. Uh, broke back mountain. Obviously, you got that one. And my favorite one. Um, <clears throat> name the film 1996. Fargo. It's the furthest go from the front. Far. Uh, no? Okay. Right. No. Question 11. What was the name of the tower block where Del Boy and Rodney Trotter lived in only for his horses? Of course, Nelson Mandela House. Question 12, who played Mr. Bean? Well, Rowan Atkinson did. Dawn French played the Vicar of Dibley. Question 14, which series from the 2000s features character Sheldon and Leonard? Of course, The Big Bang Theory. Question 15, Stranger Things is set in Hawkins. Question 16, long-run TV drama set in 1960s in Sterling Cooper Advertising Agency is, of course, Mad Men. Question 17, Iggle Piggle, Makapaka, and Upsy Daisy are from In the Night Garden. I'm sure you all knew. Question 18, name this kid's TV show. What is it? It's a roundabout. What's that written around the outside of it? Abracadabra. The magic roundabout. Brilliant. No? Okay. Name this sitcom. Uncle Victor. That's what I used to be called by some of my kids, because I moaned a lot, apparently. It's One Foot in the Grave. Victor Meldrew. The 12 inches is one foot and it's in the middle of the word grave. G-R-A in the front, V-E at the end. Brilliant. And this one provokes a bit of anger in the house here. The is in between two ERs. It's the in-betweeners, obviously. Easy when you see it, isn't it? Okay, 21. Name all the seven dwarfs. Doc, sleepy, sneezy, grumpy, happy, bashful, dopey. Well done if you got that. I I'm out and dopey, but there you go. <laughs> Irony. Okay, question 22. What type of car is the time machine in Back to the Future films? Of course, it's the DeLorean. 23. Which movie stars killed off in the start? And you haven't seen him scream? It is Drew Barrymore. I know her as uh, in E.T. Not as E.T., but in E.T. Maybe. Anyway, so, oh, oh, well, there you go. Um, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. I feel nauseous. Anyway, well done if you got that. Question 25. In what 1976 thriller does Robert De Niro famously say you're talking to me? There's a poor taxi driver. And these fellas, right, Cub Flight, 1999, David Fincher film, starring Brad Pitt and Ed Norton, is of course Fight Club. A Sonic, 1995. Um, i trying to remember who's in it. <laughs> Two big actors. I was getting confused. Right, Casino. No, I'm talking about now. Um, Selena, 1986, is of course Aliens, told title, it's from last year, this year even, wow, what's happening to me, Doolittle, and Mint Cork, Rocket Man, brilliant, okay, if any of them are wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know, brilliant, there's your lot for, for this, well, go back to that screen, might as well keep it up, um, there you're 30, let me know in the comments how you got on. Score to beat is 26 and a half, be honest, no cheating. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm just about to record third Only Fools and Horses quiz, so I think I'll publish it on Tuesday. So do check back onto the web, uh, YouTube channel for that. Um, there is a little kind of internal competition going on here in the house between Only Fools, which quizzes do best, Only Fools and Horses and Friends. Um, the missus said that Friends would do better few weeks ago and I said no way only, it is only fools and horses all the way um, at that point the first two weeks friends was taking the lead but I don't know thanks to you lot I think only fools and horses the first quiz is kind of careered into a, a, a good lead and hopefully it stays there so next quiz up is an only fools and horses one it is a difficult one I'll, I'll level with you it's not as easy as the first two um, I'm just I've just put the 10 questions together now so I need to do the PowerPoint and then um, record it later on today. Anyway, enough rambling by me. Hope you enjoyed that. I passed 20, 25 minutes for you. Uh, let me know on um, Facebook in the comments how you got on. And we shall see you back here same time next week. Lovely. Have a good week, everyone. Cheerio.